Hi guys, welcome. Today we will take a look at uh, NVMC, which is a non-volatile memory controller. This controller is responsible for reading and writing data from and to flash memory. Let's see how we can use uh, this NVMC to write data into the non-volatile memory, which is the flash memory. So what's the reason behind writing in the flash memory? One thing is that uh, every time we write the program, the program is not always uh, uh, occupying all the space and the remaining space we have in the program. We can use that space to manipulate uh, some data and we can save some data and uh, it can stay there even if the microcontroller gets reset the uh, data stays there and we can retrieve it back and we can use it for our purposes so let's see how we can work with the flash memory so this uh, flash memory for nrf52832 uh, devices is uh, 512 kb and uh, for nrf52840 it's 1 mb so let's uh, today i will just discuss the nrf52832 so uh, it's similar to nrf52840 you just need to Keep in mind that uh, for NRF52840 it's going to be 1 MB so everything is going to be according to that. So there is nothing uh, complex about it. So let's see how NRF52832 manages its flash memory. You can see here the flash memory is divided into 128 pages. Each page has a size of 4 KB which is 4096 bytes. And uh, each page is further divided into 8 blocks and each block contains 512 bytes of memory and uh, the least minimum we can write in the flash memory is a word contains 32 bits so uh, keep this in mind that whenever we are writing to the flash memory we have to write at least 32 bits uh, if we directly try to write 8 bits in a 32 bit space it's going to give us an error so for that we have a specific function which is going to handle this stuff so this is the memory and uh, let's see how we can uh, program it. Okay guys, uh, let's create a new project and uh, let's start programming our code for the flash. So go into the C directory in the NRF SDK. Here we have the examples folder. Go into the examples folder and uh, go into the peripheral and uh, we are going to copy. This is going to be this flash write. So let's copy this and uh, go into my projects and paste it here and you can rename it i'm not going to rename it for now and just go open this folder and if you are using an rf52832 open this folder pc10040 go into the blank open the ses folder and open the em project file and first of all i have to remove some of the extra stuff uh, this code here the code written here is uh, really complex as i have seen it and uh, it's not uh, good for the beginners but once you understand this uh, flash memory uh, then you can play around with this code as well it's not too complex but uh, you need to know how to work with the flash so I have removed all the code so we will start from the basics so you can see everything and I will zoom in a little so you can see clearly okay so make sure you have uh, included this NVMC okay let's start coding and uh, first of all i'm going to initialize the log because uh, we need the log so make sure you have included this so let's create a simple function which is going to initialize the log so i want to show it on my uout port so make sure the log configure uh, log is configured for the uout port so if you go into the cmc's configuration wizard and uh, click on the log and here you can see uout enabled so log UART is enabled so make sure this is enabled okay so let's initialize the log to do that I'm just going to create a simple function okay the log is initialized so let's uh, let's call it in the main function Let's print out some stuff so that our user can see some message. To make sure this prints the stuff, just go into the SDK config, open the CMC's configuration wizard, and in the log, here you can see in the log settings, if you open this, click on the log defer enabled, just uh, disable this by clicking on it and uncheck this. 
and say this so this is going to print out the messages now because we are not using sleep instructions so uh, this is necessary so the first thing is we have to calculate the address where we want to save our data so in the flash memory as you have already seen the flash is divided into pages so we we can access each page and uh, we can write the data into the page so how we access the address of each page so it's really easy how to calculate the address of each page and uh, let's do it manually so yeah, I will open the calculator and make sure it's in the programmer mode so and uh, click on the, this DEC so it's decimal value so for now I want to write in the last page which is going to be the page number 127 I will calculate it by 127 it's going to be multiplied by 4 because each page contains 4 kilobytes and is multiplied by 1024 and uh, this is the value here you can see and this is the last page address so this is the starting address of the last page and uh, we can see the hexadecimal value here which is 7f000 so in the flash memory we have to uh, write down at least eight zeros in total so let's write this address down so make sure this address is in unsigned 32 bit and let me name it as f address which is the flash address and uh, the value is going to be zero so we got the flash address as 7f000 now you have to complete the address by putting the leading zeros so we have to make sure it's eight figures so one two three so now it's going to be eight figures one two three four five six seven eight okay and this is the address of the last page this is the starting address of the last page okay and the second thing is we need a pointer to this address as well because we will use this pointer to read the data so the pointer is going to be unsigned 32 bit cast this address as unsigned 32 now we have uh, assigned the address and we have created a pointer to this address so the next thing is we need to write something in the flash so let's say I want to write this very let's say let's initialize a variable and I will just give you the name as well and uh, uh, just give it some random value okay so we are going to save this value in the flash memory let's initialize the flash area first so we are going to erase the page last page so to erase that we need to give a, we need to pass in the address of the page uh, the uh, starting address of the page before that I want to print some stuff in the log so that we can see the, what it is doing on that specific instructions and now we need to call the function which is going to erase it and in the page arrays we have to pass it the address starting address of the page so this is just going to be f address okay so we have erased the page now it's clear and we can now uh, put some values there we can write some stuff before that let's print out some message okay now we have to place here the function so that uh, we can see we will get this uh, log message that it's writing data to the flash so to write the data to flash we are going to use a function which is nrf write word not words just a word because we are just writing a single word and here we have to pass the address so this address is going to be the starting address because it's, a simi it's similar and uh, the value to write here is this variable
So as you can see here, we have already uh, pointed this pointer to this place. So this is just going to uh, hold the value, whatever is written on that address. So we will just read that from here. So we will just print this message and show what we read. And the pointer to pointer is the value. So this is just going to give us the value which this pointer is pointing. So make sure you know about the pointers. So if you have a, so if you don't really know about the pointers, just uh, uh, watch some tutorials on pointers because the pointers are really important in working with the flash and memories, and they are really useful and uh, they are very important in C so make sure you know about them and uh, it's not very complex it's, it's really easy if you are new to pointers just go around and check how these pointers work so this is just basically what I'm doing here is I have pointed to the address and uh, the pointers pointer means uh, the value on the address so basically I'm just directly accessing the value and uh, I'm just printing that so let's save this and I hope so I haven't made any mistake here. So let's build this code. Okay, the code is finished. Okay, the code is built. So make sure your device is connected and make sure your U output is also connected. Click on the connect button and erase all and uh, we are just going to download this but uh, before downloading it let's see if our uh, connection our device is connected or not on the UART port so let's open that serial terminal so I'm using the putty terminal and click on the serial and uh, right now my device is connected on COM port 7 and the baud rate is 115200 okay so it's opened now I'm just going to download this code and let's see once the code is downloaded here you can see in the log it's uh, telling that application is started then erasing the page and once the page is erased successfully I have given it the address and I have written an address I have written a value on this address and uh, then I have retrieved this value from the flash so here you can see we can use this flash and uh, we can use the flash memory this is really really easy okay guys let's see how we can write multiple words in the flash memory and then retrieve them so uh, let's create an array which is going to hold the multiple words so let me name it as a uh, K from now and give it some five values okay I have created a, a simple array and I have uh, given it some values so now we need to write these values so so let's remove this code and we will use another function which is called nrf so this time we are going to use nrf write words not word and let's remove this because we are not using this and here I will pass the starting address then I have to pass uh, the pointer uh, and uh, here uh, in the in the case of arrays you know the name of the array is basically the pointer so if I just pass it the name it's going to be a pointer in itself and the last thing I need to send is I have to tell it the number of uh, words that I go I'm going to write so it's of uh, five values so I'm just going to write this okay so this is just going to write these five values in this flash memory and the uh, last thing I need to do here is I have to print these values so to print them out I need the for loop because I have to go through each value and then I have to print that basically uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just adding the i so i is basically incrementing with the each loop and it's also incrementing the address uh, so I can read that and uh, I'm just printing that so let's see how it works control process to save go on to the build 
and click on the target, connect, erase all, and then download it. And once it's downloaded, here you can see uh, it's uh, it has written these values into the flash, and uh, you can see these values are written in the flash, and then they are retrieved by the help of uh, for loop. And uh, we can see we can write we can easily write to the flash and read from the flash. You can just see this example code, which basically has uh, some structured way of accessing the flash memory. So these are the basic instructions. I hope so you have learned something new today and I hope so you have learned how to work with the flash. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification on, notifications on time. I upload videos every week so you are going to get notified. If you like my video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Uh, the main code with the in, uh, some information is going to be available for download in the description of this video. Be sure to check it out and download it and play with it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.